What are your options when a cow goes down and is unable to stand? It's research from Australia involving 218 downer cows. The researchers stated that nearly half of downer cows recovered when they received satisfactory care. Generally dealing with cows after calving, the most common problem is nerve ligament and muscle damage. So the objective then is how to assist the natural healing process and also avoid any further setbacks. With any second calver or older, even if it's obvious that the cow has had a difficult calving, I would always treat these cows as if they've had milk fever as well. Anti-inflammatory drugs such as dexmethasone will help reduce pain and will accelerate the healing process. In some situations, your vet may prescribe antibiotic treatment. A normal lying bout for a healthy cow is typically between 50 and 100 minutes. That means the cow will get up, shift her weight, and maybe lie down again after a few minutes standing. If a cow cannot stand and is down for more than six hours, due to her restricted circulation, her own body weight will start to damage her muscles, nerves, and her joints. So now it becomes important to lift that cow. Any cow should be lifted at least three to four times per day, and I would say at a maximum of 30 minutes per lift. One of the benefits of this harness, which comes all in one piece, is that it can be left on the cow between lifts. So once the harness has been fitted on the cow, one person can manage the cow on their own. Some people use a hip clamp for lifting cows. I have tried it, I don't like it, and I certainly wouldn't recommend it. It's very important to get the cow on a good safe surface, which is a, a build up of bedding. And with this harness, it can often be good to take the cow in a field if the weather is good, put her outside for a few hours and bring her back in. But it's equally important, do not leave her out in bad weather. We want to avoid setbacks. So, so when we go to lift the cow, we lift her to a height that she can take the weight herself. And then when we have her lifted, We'll milk her. It's very important to milk the cow. She has enough problems, we don't want her getting mastitis as well. I would generally just put grass silage in front of her when she's down. I don't like to see too much grain on the ground in front of a cow that's lying down because she moves about a bit and you find that you get birds and vermin coming about. So I would just put grass silage in front of her. But then when we, when we lift the cow, I would give her a high quality TMR. Just push, pull up a wheelbarrow in front of her and let her eat from the wheelbarrow. This way, the cow will eat when she's lifted and it will help her relax and take her mind off of the whole lifting process. And it's, it's, it, it, the lifting becomes a more positive experience. And because we have to work on the cow's head as well to get her to keep her encouraged. I would also recommend using a pair of shackles, especially after she has stood up because even though the cow is standing and walking, she is going to be weak for a while and the shackles will give her support. And you may have to leave them on for at least a month. So how many days should we lift the cow for? I would say the majority of cows, if they're going to stand, will stand within seven days. Occasionally, I've had people tell me they lifted cows for 21 days and they've stood. But generally, if they haven't stood after seven days, I would be reassessing the situation. Thank you.